Hey everybody, it's Chris. I have the day off today, so I thought I'd make another video. You know what I struggle with a lot in my relationship with God? It's letting Him have both sides of my obedience. The before and the after. L let me explain what I mean by that. I'm willing to be obedient to God. Most of the time, I like to think. Here's where I go wrong. I say, God, I'm willing to give you what you want, but then you have to give me what I want. I'm treating God as if he's a used car salesman and we're just kind of haggling over the price. But that's not the way God works, believe me. I know from experience. You see, we need to be obedient to God, yes, but then we also need to let God decide what our reward is going to be, what our blessing is going to be, and when we get it. And that is absolutely terrifying to me. I feel like I'm giving up everything. Well, technically I am. Because he is the Lord and he deserves everything. And so, when I don't get what I want, a new car, bigger house, bigger bank account, I start to resent God. And I turn inward and I'm not very fun to be around, most of the time. But this is where we need to lean into God. When we're disappointed in Him, when we feel like we're not getting what we want, what we feel like we deserve after our obedience. It can be so tempting to just say, forget it, God, I'm done with you. That's the time when we absolutely need to lean into God. Prayer, staying in the Word. Those are the daily habits that cultivate a relationship with God. And by the way, this is conscious prayer. This is conscious reading of the Word. This is not rote rituals. This is coming into His presence, interacting with Him just as you would, just as attentive, actually probably more attentive, than you would another human being. As you spend time with God, His character will start to rub off on you. And that means his desires, his wants, will start to become your desires and your wants. Remember, God's plan for you is not to make you rich. It may include you having some financial stability, financial independence, whatever you want to call it, but God's ultimate goal for you is to make you more like his son Jesus. And Jesus was not wealthy during his time on earth at all. I want to encourage you. Lean into God when you're disappointed with Him. When you don't get what you want from your obedience, don't back away. Head in the opposite direction. Don't run away from God. Run toward Him. Allow Him to change you. Allow Him to open your eyes and see His blessings. To see the best things that He is giving to you. And to help you appreciate His best that He has for you. Believe it and be satisfied. By the way, I want to give a shout out to Diz McNally. It was great connecting with you. I hope you're well. Take care, everyone. God bless you.